Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Tara's Fragranced World. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, this is my first video here on YouTube, and today I want to share my Teddy Bees pre-order haul with everyone. Uh, but first I wanted to do a shout out to my friend here on YouTube, Summer Michelle. Me and Summer have connected over the past couple of months and become fast friends. We talk about wax all the time and she finally gave me the little nudge that I needed to finally start making YouTube videos. So I just wanted to thank you, Summer, for giving me that little push that I needed to finally start sharing my love of wax with everyone else in the wax community. So let's get started. So this is a very small haul, so it's going to be a quick video. I got five souffles here. Um, I try to stick with souffles for the most part because the amount of wax that I go through is not really much because I don't have too many warmers going in my house at once. So I try to just stick with souffles because that's the quickest amount of wax for me to get through. And I only got five souffles this time around because I'm trying to be good with my wax purchasing because I have so much to get through like I know everybody else does. And then so I just wanted to keep it as small as possible. So today I actually got two samples in my order which I'm very very grateful for because I have actually bought plenty of scents because of the samples that I have received so samples are always a good way to try out scents that maybe you thought that you wouldn't wouldn't like or scents that you wanted to pick up but for some reason didn't so the first one I have here is I heart vanilla spiced apples um I've had I do have this one in a souffle and it is so good. I know her iHeart Vanilla has like, um, obviously vanilla, and I believe it has like, I want I don't know if it's Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, blended with the apples and definitely have some cinnamon, some clove. But yes, this is a very good scent. I know this scent gets a lot of hype here on YouTube. I know Charity loves this scent. I know Alexis loves this scent. So once again, that is I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. And the second one I got is Sugared Violets and Angel Cakes. This one is also really good. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because I'm not a huge floral lover, but mixed with the bakery, I can do that. And violets are, I'm learning, is not actually that bad of a floral. You do get the sugared violets, and you do get a slight hint of angel cake in the background. So that's really good. I'm excited to warm that. Once again, sugared violets and angel cakes. Okay, the first souffle I have here is Smoke Show. And the notes on this are marshmallow musk, marshmallow fireside, and toasted marshmallow. And this was poured June 12th of 23. I love that she has the pour dates on her souffles. And just look at that beautiful wax. The gray with the black and gray glitter. Oh, love it. Mm, this is really good. Definitely get the marshmallow musk. The marshmallow musk is what sticks out to me the most. And then you do get the marshmallow fireside second. And then a slight hint of the toasted marshmallows. But definitely marshmallow musk. I'm very excited to warm this. So once again, that is Smoke Show. Next one I got, actually I bought this because of a sample that I received in my last RTS order, I believe. So when I saw that she was offering it in this pre-order, I knew I had to get it. And that is Emma of Normandy. This is Dark Berries Sensual Orchid Blooms in Warm Vanilla. This one was poured on June 22nd. And look at this pretty wax with the pink and gold glitter. Mm, so good. Oh, the Dark Berries, I don't know exactly what Dark Berries they are, but the Dark Berries are beautiful. The orchid blooms, you can smell the orchid blooms. And I'm not a, usually a huge perfumey person in wax, but this 
for some reason mixed with the vanilla is just really good. I think it's going to be a really good bedroom scent. So that is Emma of Normandy. Next, I have Hot Pie and Apple. So the notes on this are Palo Santo, sugared donuts, hints of chai, and a dash of pink chiffon blended with juicy apple. This was poured July 11th. So I know that Hot Pie gets a lot of hype here on YouTube. And unfortunately, I did not grab it the last time that it was available because I just wasn't sure if I would love love the notes i mean i do love palo santo sugar donuts chai can be kind of hit and miss for me sometimes and the pink chiffon i wasn't sure how it was all gonna blend together but after smelling this i definitely would love to get hot pie on its own so this is beautiful pink wax with some red glitter the apple is the standout in this for sure but you do get the palo santo second I do get the dash of pink chiffon. The sugar donuts and the hints of chai I'm not getting too much of right now, but I'm sure those will come out on warm. But for sure, the juicy apple and the Palo Santo are definitely in the forefront for this one. But it definitely makes me wanna try hot pie on its own even more now. So I will definitely be picking that up the next time she offers it. So that's hot pie and apple. Next, we have Laid in Lace. This is Beach Treats Marshmallow Clouds, which is her Laid on the Beach, blended with sweet and sensual vanilla. This one was poured July 26th, so this is a fresher pour, so I'm gonna have to let this cure for a little longer before I can melt it. But can we just talk about this white wax with the gold and turquoise glitter? Oh, I love it. And this one is so good. This is probably my favorite of the, the order because I am a huge Beach Nights lover and Tiffany has a really good Beach Nights. And Marshmallow Clouds is another one of my favorite scent notes. So this is going to be such a gorgeous bedroom scent for sure. But I do have to let it cure a little longer because I know her wax does need a little bit more cure time sometimes. That's so good. So that again is laid on the beach. Or laid in lace, I'm sorry. Very, very good bedroom scent. And lastly, I know this one has been getting a lot of hype here on YouTube. And that is Whipstaff Manor. So honestly, the scent notes at first I wasn't sure if I was going to love because it's the crisp air, cedar wood, crunchy leaves, hints of apple fall spice toasted marshmallow and charred pumpkin i've come to find out recently that i am not a fan of cedar wood and the crunchy leaves i wasn't sure about either but i honestly picked it up because of the name it uh is the the name of the house from the movie casper and i love that movie so when i saw that she had this i knew i just had to get it basically basically because of the name but this wax is beautiful it's like a blackish grayish color with like gold glitter and this smells really good. I actually do really like it. And I'm glad that I picked it up. So you definitely do get the charred pumpkin. I personally get the charred pumpkin the most. And then I do get the hints of apples in the spice. Touch of cedar wood, which is good because like I said, I am not really a fan of cedar wood, I found out. And the crunchy leaves, but definitely the charred pumpkin so good this is gonna be a beautiful fall blend for sure and i am so ready for fall fall is my favorite time of the year halloween is my absolute favorite holiday i love anything spooky halloween like and horror movies anything to do with fall and halloween i'm here for it so i cannot wait to melt this once again that is whipstaff manor and that is all. So once again, a very small order. I do have my list ready for her RTS that is coming up this Saturday, the 12th. Um, I'm trying to just stick to my list. I have six cents 
on there. Like I said, I'm trying to be very particular about what I'm bringing into my collection. So I'm just trying to stick to my list. I know she's supposed to have the final list posted tomorrow. I'm gonna try to not even look at it and just stick to the list that I already have made. So yeah, uh, please let me know in the comments below what you picked up from this order. I mean, this pre-order, and if you are planning on participating in the RTS and what you plan on picking up in the RTS. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you love things, all things wax and home fragrance, then I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And thank you. Have a good day.